What's going on guys, Awaken Fresto here and in today's video it's either a salt topic or it's an awesome topic for many many audience. So we're gonna take a look at the new rules that have been applied. Waste another day, eyes on my display. You say we need a change and I feel that you mean If you watch my Welcome to the Capital or like you know SBS uh, bowl prediction is you will know that like every time we invade other like state most of the time uh, some state they purposely lost on the prep state so they can defense and put like 18 settlement wall if you watch it like maybe a couple um, like um, maybe a month ago uh, when uh, 104 in weight 118 we have to fight with 18 settlements march time and it's really unfair for like invading team because we do spend a lot of resources uh, to beat them in the prep state and just to go over there and you have to march like super super far so in today news that's a new rule on the capital clash all right guys so we're gonna go take a closer look here all right man i should switch to my new tools with the pen but uh, it's too late now <laughs> all right guys so in today uh we're gonna go take a look here so let's take a look on the question mark on the top so all right so allies that occupy capital for six uh hour non-stop you know or the hold the longest you will uh, win the capital clash yeah and then all right so all this rule is normal but on the fifth rule right now let's check this out two hours before the start of the event the settlement in the alert zone near the capital will be forcibly and randomly relocated okay um let's stop there and see so any settlement right now in the capital area uh two hours before the event will bounce okay that's super super great news right i mean i mean uh, for some of you who love to defense that's uh that's you know it won't it won't happen but for some of you that actually love to attack because it's a war game you like you need to attack now that's where it come in I mean uh, so they're gonna randomly port you out okay all right and from one hour before the start of the event okay so you have two hour is bounce everybody else and then one hour before the event start um, and then to the end of the event um, I'll just read it off from the screen here it's easier than this alright so um, from one hour before the start of the event to the end of the event you can relocate freely to the alert zone but peace flare alright of sediment in the alert zone will be removed and cannot be activated again alright guys so basically you cannot put the peace flare on the capital tile um, from one hour before the capital start and then at the end so would that be something like if like let's say for me if i'm just gonna go to the capital tile and like try to play the capital and then i usually go to sleep right <laughs> and then i'll wake up like maybe three four hours later uh, to play just uh you know power nap uh now before i'm doing that i will have to consider t myself like man i mean i can i mean for, for me i can take probably like five hit uh full rallies and you know it it's gonna be very very tough uh to do that like in SBS because obviously when you come in you are just gonna be like oh wait uh, someone is here you know um, 
uh, I mean, you you cannot put the peace flare on while you sleep, so you might get rally while you sleep. So it's it's gonna be the gameplay gonna be changed. The invading team gonna uh, have more chances. Okay, and mm, to be honest, man, uh, when they introduce 24-hour peace flare, the 24-hour peace flare is intended for free to play to protect themselves that they actually don't play the capital to protect themselves because you know sometimes they forgot to uh, shield but now the dev give them 24 hour peace flare to uh, protect themselves but you know as you already know people take advantage uh, like uh, of this loophole create the extra account just to put it there and you know take the advantage of 24 hour uh, shield right so now um, in my opinion it's uh, will work as intended um, as what's the dev is um, you know uh, wanted to give to the free to play or the people that actually don't play uh, they can use the, those peace flare for the right purpose not and then I know a lot of people who love to attack uh, other states so now you can I mean more fun guys uh, if you don't want to lose your troop or resources then you better chill so that's the name of the game and yeah super excited guys and if you have any comment or any you know like suggestion just let me know because I love to read and also you know it, it added some spice uh, to the video uh, comment so alright guys uh, subscribe and I'll see you in the next